Hello and welcome back to another crochet tutorial. Today we will look at the Celtic weave stitch pattern. Celtic weave stitch pattern is worked over four plus two um, stitches, so you will you need to count multiples of four and then add two at the end. The way I like to start this stitch pattern is by using foundation double crochet. So we will start with a slip knot. You can also do chains and double crochet. This is just a way um, to save time and for those who don't like to work into your chains. So we will chain two, one and two. We will then yarn over and insert the hook into the second chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. We've got three loops on our hook. We will then yarn over and pull through one. And this creates the chain and then we will work yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and this creates double crochet um when i'm talking about double crochet i'm using the us terms so this would be treble crochet in the uk terms so that's one foundation double crochet i made you will then yarn over and insert the hook under both of the strands of the chain we just made. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Again, you've got three loops on your hook. We'll yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Two times. So that's second. So you will do foundation, double crochet multiple according to how big your project is if you want to just um, try the stitch out and perhaps make a dishcloth um, using bulky weight yarn maybe uh, you would do four or five multiples of four so perhaps 20 and then you add those two stitches to have 22 for um, something like a baby blanket or throw, you would certainly do big multiple, but this is where swatching comes in. Once you've got your multiple or four plus two, you will then turn your work around and chain two. So for this project or for this stitch pattern rather, the starting chain two does not count as a stitch. So you will then yarn over and work a double crochet into the first stitch so you yarn over insert the hook into first stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so then we start working front post double crochet for row number two and we will work back post double crochet for row number three so the stitch pattern goes like this we will skip the first two stitches and then we work front post double crochet around the third and the fourth stitch from the hook. So we yarn over, insert the hook from front to back to front around the post of the third stitch from the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. When you work this front and back post double crochet for the Celtic weave stitch, I would recommend to work these stitches fairly loosely otherwise the fabric starts pulling in and the stitch pattern um, gets all um, distorted so it doesn't come up as nice so again we work front post double crochet into the fourth stitch from the hook and now we are going to go back into working the first and the second stitch from the hook so we yarn over insert the hook into the first stitch from the hook work from post double crochet and then into the next stitch okay so then we go on to repeating this stitch pattern for the rest of the row uh, finishing with a double crochet into the last stitch so we will take it slowly again we've got the next four stitches so that's where we work the next uh, stitch pattern repeat. So we leave, we skip the first and second stitch and we will work front post double crochet into the third and fourth. Like 
like so and into the fourth then we go back into and work from post double crochet into those stitches that we just skipped like so okay and i've got one more repeat to do because i've got four more stitches left okay so i now worked all my repeats for row number two and we will end the row with a double crochet into the very last stitch and turn your work around for row number three we'll start with chain two and again a double crochet into the first stitch now we will start working back post double crochet stitches so when you turn um, the work slightly towards yourself you see that there are two stitches here and we will work back post double crochet into this so for back post double crochet you need to yarn over and work from back to front to back around the post of the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again please try to work the stitches um, slightly looser than you would normally work your double crochet and we'll repeat the back post double crochet into the next stitch and now we locate the next two stitches which are these two this and this and we are going to skip this for now the next two stitches are here this and this and we will work again back post double crochet into these two one and two and now comes the tricky bit for this row because we will now work back post double crochet into the skipped stitches so to start with i like to isolate a stitch to kind of singled out the post with my finger so it's a little bit easier to access the stitch with your hook okay and you yarn over work around the post of the stitch and work your back post double crochet and then we've got one last one here that we haven't worked into yet that's the skip stitch number two work back post double crochet into this okay now we are going to isolate the next two stitches so this one and two we are skipping this and we find the following two stitches here here and here and we are going to work back post double crochet into these two <laughs> one and two and find the skip stitches work back post double crochet into these two one and two now we have two more stitches left here one and two we will work back post double crochet into this and a double crochet into the very last stitch of the row so we will start and end each row with a double crochet and in between we are working either front or back post double crochet crossing over okay so we've got last two back post double crochet one and two and double crochet and turn your work around and once you work more rows you will see that it's 
this beautiful texture will start emerging which looks quite intricate and it's really just two row repetition so it's a lot less complex and a lot easier than it might seem at first sight okay so that's it for today um today it was much shorter tutorial than it's usual nevertheless i hope that you've learned something new get inspired and as always please let me know what would you use this stitch pattern for share the video with your friends and i'll see you in the next tutorial Bye bye